get it. M O T I O N. On today's episode, we're going to be discussing motion. Hmm. What is motion? Motion is a change in an object's position as compared to other objects around it. How can the motion of an object be described? Well, the motion of an object can be described by its speed and direction. Speed and direction together determine an object's velocity. Whoa, 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 we've got to slow down. Too many vocabulary words at one time. Speed is the rate at which someone or something is able to move. Direction is a course along which something or someone moves. Velocity is the speed of something in a given direction. Hmm, what is a position? A position is an object's location or place. Because my moped is moving, its position changes. The moped's position is getting farther and farther away from the stop sign the further I ride. Imagine, if you will, if we were watching a competition. Some skiers were wanting to race to see who could finish first. They line up at the starting line, and they're off. Then they come across the finish line. Then you have first, second, third place. What information is needed to measure the speed of the skiers? A skier's speed is measured using units of distance and time. Hmm, what is gravity? Gravity, ah! Gravity is a force that pulls objects together. The Earth's gravity pulls me back to it every time. Earth's gravity is quite impressive. Hmm, what is a force? A force is nothing more than a push or a pull. A push is the action of moving an object away. A pull is the action of bringing an object closer to oneself. How can an object that is in motion be slowed down or stopped? I give you friction. Friction is a force that slows or stops an object that is in or was in motion between two surfaces that are touching. My bicycle's brake system uses friction to slow or stop myself. And now it's time to summarize what we've learned. Here's the big idea. The motion of an object can be described by its speed and direction. Speed and direction together determine an object's velocity. It is also important to remember that gravity is a force that pulls objects toward each other. Gravity can act on objects at a distance. A force is a push or a pull. Forces change the motion of an object. Friction is a force that slows or stops motion between two surfaces that are touching. That's right. M O T M I O N. That's right. Yeah. Motion is movement measured by speed and direction. That's right. M O T M I O N. That's right. Motion is movement measured by speed and direction. How can the motion of an object be described? Listen to the rhymes I got in this section. Motion is measured by speed and direction. Here's some generosity for your curiosity. Speed and direction determine velocity. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Come on. Uh. Motion. That's right. M O T M I O N. That's right. Yeah. Uh. Motion is measured by speed and direction. That's right. M O T M I O N. That's right. Uh. Motion is movement measured by speed and direction. That's right. Motion can be described within a frame of reference by its speed and direction or your preference. Right. Motion is the change in the object position. Position when compared to other objects that are around us. M O T M I O N. That's right. Yeah. Uh. Motion is movement measured by speed yeah. and direction. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to connect with us. Check us out on Teachers Pay Teachers, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and check out our Pinterest page. Head on over to our YouTube channel where you can check out many...